Hi everyone, it's just me, Morgan. Um, I'm editing the video right now, and I just want to give a little forewarning before the video starts that we filmed this video outside at a lake, so it's very windy, and so that messes up with the audio sometimes. So if it's kind of windy and it's hard to hear, that is why. So I hope you guys can still hear the video and enjoy it and give it a thumbs up. Hey guys, my name's Savannah, and I'm Morgan, and sorry for the wind because we are out here at Back of the River, and we are going to be testing the phosphorus levels. We're here at the reservoir of the river. So it's all river water, but it's not directly water because it's kind of hard to get access to. We have phosphorus kits and we have the kits for the pH and we're going to test the water. Okay, so I'm going to collect the sample for the pH and Savannah is going to be doing the phosphorus by filling this little test tube up to 10 milliliters and then adding 10 drops of the indicator and Savannah is going to be doing the phosphorus and then we will keep updating you as we go. Okay so I have my test tube filled with 10 milliliters and now I'm going to add the 10 drops of the indicator. But before I do we just want to let you guys know what we're looking for here. So basically um, natural water ranges between 6 and 9. Um, a pH of 7 is neutral. It's completely neutral. So pure water should be seven. And six is acidic. Anything um, lower than seven is acidic. And anything higher than seven is basic. So that range of six to nine. Nine is because there's a lot of salts in water, which raises the pH. So under six, it can kill wildlife. And that's not good. And um, above nine is very basic, almost like bleach. So now, whoa guys, sorry to flex on you with that AP chemistry knowledge, but I just wanted to let you guys know that I am in AP chemistry and Savannah is in AP environmental science. And so we do have credible education in both chemistry and environmental science. So when we talk about it in our videos, it is credible. In these next two clips, I took out the audio because it was very windy and I didn't really say anything anyways, but I just added the 10 drops of indicator and then capped it the lid and I shook the test tube back and forth to mix up the indicator. Okay, so we have this little handy dandy thing where you can insert the test tube and the indicator scale. So this is the one for it's, if it's acidic, so it turns kind of like a reddish yellow. And then for basic, um, it turns green. So our um, pH seems to be like it's in between 8.5 and 9, which is kind of on the higher end of pH that should this water should be. And it's a little salty. <laughs> Hi guys, so I'm going to be doing the phosphate test kit. Anna is just mixing up the phosphate acid regent and the lake water. So now I'm going to take one level spoon of the phosphate reducing regent, reagent, I don't know. Um, this is like a jelly. something. Alrighty folks, so um, we tried to add the phosphate or reducing and it was a jelly and I don't think it was supposed to be jelly. Um, we're trying our best. So we're going to wait five minutes and see if it turns color. Okay. Alright. I would like to thank Lomo for not sponsoring this video. You are definitely welcome at any time to pay for our test kits that aren't expired and are put together now. Wait. 
Um, so basically, we're gonna view it <laughs> this way. 0 0.2, 0 0.8, and one. And ours falls around zero, but we're gonna say around a 0 0.1 maybe, because it's, also. there's some blue there. It's kind of hard to see on video, but in person it's definitely a little bit darker than the zero. Yeah. It's in between the zero and the 0 0.2. But this one was a little bit harder to test as our kit was a little our kit was a little outdated, but we're gonna make it work. Yeah, we made it work. So um, if there are high levels of phosphorus in your water and you're getting like a point two and it's like really dark blue, if you end up doing these tests, um, just know that that can be really bad for animals in your river, like streams, bodies of water, because um, as the as phosphorus like moves around in the water, it can block sunlight from getting down and um, giving the plants the sunlight that they need and stuff. So it's really important to uh, test your water and make sure our animals are doing okay. We live in Polk County and so if you're interested in doing water testing, you can volunteer at Polk County Conservation. And yeah, shout out to Mr. Rife for giving us these test kits. So thank you guys for coming along and helping us help test the heat and the phosphorus of some of our main water sources. Yeah, so um, this is really important to us. I know that I personally am in AP Environmental Science and we're learning about the importance of biodiversity in our rivers, lakes, streams, and um, how climate change is causing thermal expansion, which is leading to some bad stuff. So pay attention to your water. It's what keeps us alive.